Hello friends, if you're part of the family, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. It is 7.07 .07 p.m. and I literally just ordered uh, my hoop from Etsy and it got here today. And I was like, maybe I should film this tomorrow, but I'm like, what the hey, let's just do it right now. Um, so, uh, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I got a nose ring a few months ago. It's actually been maybe three and a half months since I've gotten my nose ring and I have my stud. It's like the tiniest little stud ever. And um, my goal was to get a, uh, a, um, a hoop, a little hoop, but I wanted something very small, very snug to the nostril, very thin, uh, yellow gold and super minimal. So I went to Etsy and I found um, the nose ring. It's actually a, is it 14 karat gold. Let me see where it is. It is a, yes, a 14 karat gold. It's 24 gauge and it's an extra small. I wasn't sure if I wanted a small or an extra small. Just drop the package, it's all good. Um, but I really wanted a very snug to the, to the nose. So hopefully this one works. I can put a link to the shop that I got below, the shop that I ordered this from, and it gives you instructions how to do it in the back. Um, over here. I would have preferred, I guess, to go to the guy who pierced my nose ring, um, but I just can't wait. And I'm like, I've seen a few videos on YouTube and how to do it, and I'm like, you know what, let's just do it. Uh, so apparently when you, this is what it looks like, look how small it is. Okay, so when you insert the hoop, something that I've seen in YouTube, on YouTube, and also here in the directions, that you do not want to Say this is the hoop. You do not want to stretch it out this way, but it, it, but um, you want to kind of uh, fold it or twist it this way. Okay, so we are not opening up the hoop this way. We're supposed to be twisting it this way and then inserting it. Okay, so I have some Q-tips here, which I'm going to go ahead and clean the site because I have makeup on there, um, and then I'm going to have it there to clean the site with uh, sterile saline um, before I insert the hoop. I'm looking at the hoop and it's super tiny. I really did want something snug. To be honest with you, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. Again, this is what it looks like. Look how small it is. Hopefully it does. If you're watching this, it worked out. If you're not watching this, then this is just, I don't know, a video for America's Funniest Video. Okay, let's jump right into it. So let's go ahead and clean the site. I'm gonna get some of these Q-tips and I'm going to wet them or soak them with this saline. Some, some stuff's falling on the floor. So the side is clean. I'm gonna get some more or wet some more q-tips because i'm going to clean the site as soon as i remove the nose ring or the nose stud here we go i'm a little scared the recommendation is to go ahead and clean the the little hoop so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to spray it with that uh, saline wash i'm going to go ahead and twist it to the side i can't even tell that much but Let's do this. All right, so it told me to twist it to where you can see the bar coming out. It's kind of gross, but there's the bar. And then I'm supposed to kind of just pull this down until it comes out, okay? There it is. It's out, okay. Let me go ahead and clean it. And let's put the ring. All right, update. It's been like half an hour and it took me a while to really thread it through the hole. Maybe like a good 20 minutes. It's very red now. Um, and that is because the tip of it was just way too round and it just wasn't. It wasn't um, going straight through the hole. It's like trying to get this like a hook to go to the hole and it was like stopping like right here. 
and it wasn't going and I was like freaking out and I was like oh my gosh my hole is gonna close um, so unfortunately I was not able to do this with the ring I literally had to go like this because if not it wasn't gonna go through believe me trust me I tried and it just didn't happen so now it's definitely through but now it's just really open it's like open this way so now I just have to go ahead and close it so that's what I'm gonna try to do and then I'll hop back in here to show you guys hopefully the end product and the reason why it was so hard is because it is so dainty and small and thin um, that it didn't yeah maybe that's what it was but um, all right I'm gonna try to close it now and hopefully we'll be done because I wanted to give it a little rest. I feel like my nose was getting a little swollen. It's definitely red and it was definitely bleeding a lot because I was just kind of playing with the hole. And anyways, <laughs> all right, let me try to kind of close it and I'll be back. All right, friends, so it is in. As you guys can see, I love how minimal it is. I love that it's not like smack in your face. Here's my nose ring. Hey, some people love that. I love the minimal look. As you guys can see, still a little red. Um, it took me a while, like I told you guys, to thread it through the hole and then um, I definitely had to open it up like this. I really didn't want to, but I had to to be able to just kind of hook it into the hole and then I closed it. So I love that it's not really hanging, um, that like nothing can get like get caught in it. And I love how snug it is right there in the nostril. So again, this is the 24 gauge, uh, I think it's five to six millimeter. Um, no, sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and link uh, the Etsy shop that I purchased this below. It's also 14 karat gold, uh, which is what I wanted. I wanted something good quality. So, all right, guys, so that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this again if you watched this because it came out good. <laughs> all right, stay tuned for a few messages for myself. Love you all, and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Hello friends, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to watch my videos. I put a lot of time and effort in filming these videos and uploading them and editing them for you guys. So it means the world that you guys are taking the time uh, to watch them. So first of all, thank you so much. There's a few things that I wanna share with you guys. They won't take long at all, I promise. So number one is I accept prayer requests. So if there's anything that you want prayer over, um, if you have a family or a friend that need, needs prayer, or if you're going through a situation, um, yeah, or for you, for anyone that you know, go ahead and comment below, or you can go ahead and contact me by emailing me or through social media as well. And I will definitely be praying for you and for your situation. Number two, if you are on social media, you should totally be following me, um, specifically Instagram and Facebook. I post a lot more content there, specifically on Instagram. Um, I post pictures of my family, of trips, of what I do during the day, recipes, outfits, just a lot more content there, and I have so much fun with it. So if you are on social media, go ahead and follow me over there. Number three, I have an Etsy shop where I design graphic t-shirts um, and in the future I'm thinking of maybe adding a few more items on there, but go ahead and check it out. They are comfy t-shirts, mostly faith-based, um, tons of different colors and I love t-shirts. I live in t-shirts and I love designing them. So I've made this shop available for you guys, for you guys to purchase some really cool and comfy t-shirts that I have designed. So go ahead and check it out. The link to my Etsy shop will be below. And number four, last but certainly not least, if you are not part of this family yet, consider subscribing. We have so much fun here. I do my best to upload three days a week. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays and Wednesdays is mostly Bible related. I do Bible studies and such, and we have fun in those days because we dive into the Word of God and we learn. Um, and Fridays is mostly for my girls out there. I do a lot of makeup hauls, makeup reviews, get ready with me, makeup tutorials. I also do recipes I do so many things just about my life and like I said we have tons of fun on Fridays as well so if you want to join us if you feel like that's something that you would love to be a part of go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new video see that was short and sweet right thank you guys so much for watching love you all and I will see you on my next video bye